Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with the Comms Prepper Helper. Hi Preppers! And we're going to do a short video today about alkaline batteries and alkaline battery trays. Uh, this is actually two four battery trays taped together. And I actually have the Radio Shack website up here. They sell for about oh, $2.19. And I actually stack two of these together. So at 1.5 volts per battery, if I have eight of them, I get 12 volts which should power most of my radio communications equipment. Uh, for a quick refresher, uh, again, alkaline batteries like D-cell batteries or double A's are 1.5 volt batteries. And I'm trying a new format here where I'm going to split the screen and have the voltmeter and the video here in the same screen. So here I'm reading across that battery, D-cell, it's 1.6 volts but it's advertised as 1.5. This is a brand new battery. And even though this is a smaller battery, this AA, I'll read across it, and it too is 1.6 volts. So as I add these together in series, that's 1.5, that's 3, that's 4.5. So as I keep adding, add 1.5, I increase the voltage. So to give you a little demonstration of that is I'm going to go ahead here with this battery tray. I've already got one, two, three, four, five. So that's 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6, 7.5 volts, which is actually the voltage on the back of the ocean radio. So I'm going to simulate that this battery went bad in the field, but I needed to power my ocean radio. So I got some alligator clips here. And I'm doing this positive to positive, negative to negative terminals. Now I have power for the ocean radio. And we'll hit the little FM button here. So, using my alkaline batteries here, I was able to pair off the batteries, five in total, to get the seven and a half volts I need. Now, if I needed something for 12 volts, I could go ahead and put these batteries back in the tray. And we'll get the multimeter out again. And we'll go positive to positive, negative to negative. And you can see on the multimeter we have 12.85 volts. So we could actually power up a HF radio or some other similar piece of equipment that didn't require a lot of current. We would not be able to transmit because alkaline batteries typically will only provide one amp of current. So if you have a 100 watt HF radio or a high powered piece of equipment, that requires more than one amp of current at 12 volts, this solution would not work for you. But this could be used if you needed to put enough power to a piece of equipment to program it, or you just wanted to run a receiver, or something along those lines, then this would provide you voltage with one amp of current. That's kind of a selectable way of creating your, your power based on what your needs are. So if you only want, let's say, six volts, you could take four batteries out. We'll get that multimeter up here again. And now we're just measuring across the batteries that are in the back. We'll put that over there. And now we look at the multimeter and we get 6.4 volts. It's a little bit high because the batteries are new. If I needed to run again like I ran the ocean radio I would just put one extra battery in there and that gives me the seven and a half or eight volts I need to run that radio. So just an idea as you're building your emergency communications kit is to think about adding some battery trays so you have some flexibility for power options. Another neat little option out there is the cigarette lighter adapter where you get some terminal lugs here if you needed to tap off 12 volts. I can't remember where I bought that. 
but this is another good thing to have in your your bug out bag for your communications equipment and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with the d-cell battery trays